Hi everyone, this is Tyler here again at Woodland Frenchies. Hope all is doing well. Today we're gonna do a really good video I think that's gonna help a lot of people, especially if you just got your puppy and you know maybe you're working on some training things. So today's tip or training hopeful um, thing we're gonna do for you guys is to help you teach you how to stop your puppy from biting. So that's kind of a big thing, especially for French Bulldogs. They are a little bit of a, um, they got some really good energy, always looking to play. Um, and then sometimes they do try to bite or um, not nip, but just you know, chew on things. So just like anything when you're, you're going through, hey Stella, did you want to be in the video too? Yeah, you did, good girl. Yeah, you'll be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got Stella and Raven here to help us out with this, this training video. Um, I would say Stella was probably more of a biter than Raven was when I first got Stella. Um, she had a lot of energy. Raven loves to be held, um, just wants to sit there. Stella, all she wanted to do was play and, <laughs> and you can see she's got a little spunk to her. So we're gonna talk about what we did with Stella to help with her biting issues. And again, it was not aggressive whatsoever. It was just her wanting to play, um, interact with us, and have a good time. Yeah, now you like to chew on toys and not fingers, right? Good girl. So the number one thing um, when, when trying to train a puppy, first of all, you gotta be calm, relaxed, just as a parent. I'm not a parent yet, but from hearing from good parents, you, need, you, know, you wanna definitely be calm and restrained and just uh, level-headed. You don't need to do any type of yelling to help reinforce anything. So just when you're looking to train a puppy, just speak calmly and uh, we'll talk about reinforcing um, good, you know, like good girl or good boy to them um, at the end. So be, come in that mood. Um, second part is you, have, you need to have a good relationship with them. They're not gonna learn or listen to you to stop biting if they don't respect you or if you haven't been working with them consistently on any type of training. So that's definitely gonna take the most time for you to help your puppy from preventing it to bite or sit or whatever you're looking to do. Right, Stella? <laughs> Stella, wanna sit, sit, Stella, sit. Hey, good girl. Stella, sit, 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 sit. Good girl, yeah, good girl. So we've done a lot of training with Stella. She's really, really good, such a really good Frenchie. Um, but yeah, as far as the biting part, so let's just say we're kind of we're gonna get eventually to what to do when a puppy is biting. Again, first thing is then you need to come in a good leadership mindset, good calm, cool, collective um, way when you're ready to to do the training, or if the puppy would start biting. Um, secondly, um, you need to, I would say, let your family know, hey guys, this is that uh, we're not gonna let our puppy bite anymore. So let's just say I determined that we're gonna prevent this and the kids or other family member is, is, doesn't know about this, well you need a consistent um, knowledge that everybody's going to be doing the same thing when this occurs. So make sure you let the family know. Um, then thirdly, we're going to talk about, okay, now this an incident is going to happen. Let's just say the puppy is playing and she's starting to bite, whatever. Um, the, the best thing you need, you know, say you're playing with it, cuddling with it, you know, all that good stuff. And then what you need to do is when that puppy does start to bite you is have a, you know, I try to teach my puppy the word no. So other people might say eh, eh, or like something whistle or back up or something like that. I say no. And then I kind of stern, uh, confident voice so that they, you get their attention. Um, Stella has learned the word no. We're still working on it pretty good with Raven, but um, she's definitely a work in process. Um, then when she does stop biting, then you do give a good reinforcement, say good girl, or if you do have a toy nearby, definitely give them a toy to chew on instead of your fingers. Um, a good example is, especially with Stella, when we first got her, and she still does it a little bit, she, she loves kids, and you don't want her chewing on kids. Uh, our fingers are jumping, she does jump a little bit up on them, but um, so a good example for Stella when she first was biting a little bit more or trying to play with the kids, that was a good example of us not wanting to, for her to be chewing. Um, so big right away, Stella, you just tell her no and she should stop. Yeah, you're a good girl. And give her a toy, something else, and just say good girl. 
Yeah, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> You're funny. Um, other thing that helps with them for not biting is exercise. So the more you get your puppy is active, maybe they're less they're gonna be, wanna be rowdy. So make sure you do your recommended daily exercise on a Frenchie and that'll help with them not being so riled up when they're looking to play and so forth. So, um, but yeah, learning the word no and just, you know, first you gotta have that re relationship, that consistency um, with training with them so that you, they know that you are the leader and that they should listen, right? Right, girlfriend? Ready? Go Stella. Go Stella. Oh, uh, there you go. But yeah, definitely, if they do start to chew, have a toy or something else that you can give it to them and tell them good job so they can chew on that instead of some fingers. But yeah, hope this helps, guys. Just a little bit of you know knowledge that I've had to work with Stella and Raven um, in, the few, in the past. Uh, if there are any other type of training questions that you guys have, let us know. Uh, we really, really would appreciate it. And if there are, yeah, comment below. We'll try to do some more on that. And for the rest of this video, maybe we'll... Do you want to just play? Come up, 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 up. And it also is good if you do have French Bulldog already. For training, it helps all so much with that part if you already do have a dog. Um, she can definitely watch Stella and show that, Stella can show the puppy what to do and what not to do. All right, girlfriend. Yeah. But the thing is that I, I guess I don't do is I let them play, like they play pretty aggressive or they play pretty tough with each other and they do kind of, you know, I, I, they do bite each other uh, in a playful way. I'm not gonna prevent them from doing that in my, for my, me personally. If that's something you wanna prevent them from doing, feel free to do so, but I think that's just the natural thing that pets do. Uh, you know, they love to play with each other and you know, yeah, you don't want them to be doing, like being playing aggressive with the other family member or anything like that, but for these two, I mean, to me that's just kind of the natural order of things, how, th how their mind and brain works, but they definitely need to know that they cannot do that with a family member or a baby or a kid or even me. It can't be too aggressive because that would definitely um, not be good. Um, other things with biting, we're still working on jumping. Stella gets super excited again when she sees kids or sees other people. She's not necessarily biting, she's licking, but she's not necessarily biting. So that's something we're continuing to work on because French Bulldogs love kids, they love attention, they love meeting new people. Um, Stella is not afraid of anybody whatsoever. She'll come up and greet you. Um, compared to some other dogs might you know shy away so they're definitely not afraid of that but that's definitely an issue if, if they get too jumpy especially when it comes to little kids for instance we had easter yesterday and well i live right by my parents place and uh somebody um my sister my stepsister came with their kids and we look out the window and all of a sudden i hear i see stella down by the door and so I run and get her and I mean, she was just jumping on him and everything. And, and the little boy's like, Stella's lick me, Stella. And it was, she just caused a scene. So I don't want Stella to be doing that. I want them to just, I want her to go up and calmly just let them pet her and just be friendly. So that's something we're gonna work on. And maybe we can talk about that in our next video on how we're gonna do that. So hopefully this video was helpful in somewhat, some way. If it was, definitely feel free to subscribe guys. It really, really means a lot. And if you can give the video a like, that helps as well. We'll see you in our next video. Thanks.